In this video, I will be designing the APIs through using Django REST framework. So I come to this Django REST framework.org URL where there is all the documentation which I need to set up our project with the Django REST framework. And after that, I have this API guide and in the API guide, I will go to views. And uh, I will be using functional based views because uh, they are very easy to debug because uh, class based views is like a magic uh, which uh, we don't know what's uh, going behind the back. So we will be using function based views to uh, because they are easy. So to use this function based view, we have uh, something called API view in our function based view. This is a decorator and we can use this over any function. So copy this REST framework, copy this import statement and come to our code base. Inside the backend, I will go to the base and in the base, I will go to views. So here I will import paste this line and it is showing me error because it don't know it, uh, it is not using virtual environment so it's using my local interpreter python interpreter so i will click on this enter path and find and i will go to backend my cart i will go to vnv and scripts and python and select interpreter so this should the line should go okay the line has been gone now i will make a function called let's say products let's say name this all products so if user this will return all the products that we have so it will take request and it will return a response so to import response we can use from rest framework dot uh, response import response and we will return response but to uh, we have to pass something in the response so to return response we will be importing like from base base is the name of our app in the base yeah, in, that means in our app we have this products.py which contain all the products so i am importing this so in, in the base let's say base dot products import products so i have now all the products i can type here products like this and it will return it will return all the products not property products it will return all the products uh, like an api so i will use a api like api decorator api view and this function will execute when we have get request so we pass it like this so whenever user send get request then this function will be executed but we have to set it in our urls urls so here make a file called urls.py and also we have to change the setting in our backend in the backend urls.py remove all these things and here type path and if somebody comes comes to api then it will be redirected to include let's import include and base dot urls put comma here okay so save this and after api let's import this path statement And now I can use URL patterns. In the URL patterns, I have path. And in the path, I will type like 
after API, the user will enter product. Or let's say all products. And that will be, I need to also import views. So from base import views. And it will be views dot views dot and the function name so the function is all product i think it should be all products that is much better so come here in the view and name this to all products and it will return all the products from these products like an api so i think this should work properly so open our terminal and uh, come to our backend folder cd backend and uh, let me increase this now type python manage.py run server so this is like we do in in react npm start npm start so this is same so our server has been started in 127 8000 so copy this url and come here paste this so it is not showing anything because if you remember we have this uh, this url we have to enter api and after that we choose all products come here and api all products press enter and uh, you can see all products are available here in the form of api okay so our api is working properly and uh, now if i want to patch api from like passing the id here like like one so it doesn't return me anything because i have not set this so if uh, let's close this one and uh, to fetch a particular product user the user have to come to product and after product it will be like integer value that will be id id and like this so for this we have we, the function that going to be executed is like uh, get product copy this so if somebody comes like product and uh, like one or two whatever he is entering then that will be captured and uh, if user come here and uh, define paste this so this will take a request and the id which is captured from the urls this id okay so save this first and uh, let's make this function so this is also from api view at api view and the user will be sending get request to this so we have to pass it in a list like this after get product we have to send the product which is which is matched to the id okay so like if user enter three then this product should be returned so to do this i have to do like uh, firstly i have to check if the request method is get to avoid any complication later so request dot method equals to equal to equal to get so if request dot method is get then then like uh, it will iterate over all the products 
the four product n products and uh, for product in products i will check if the product id is uh, like uh, product id equals to equals to so in it will iterate over all these products so let's say it uh, is iterating and the first product is this macbook air m1 so it will we can check the id by product and this id putting this id into these square bracket so like this and we have to match it with the id this id so if this id matched with this product then it will return the product return product so this product will be returned and uh, actually it will return a json response sorry response response and in the response it will return that product so that's uh, seems great let's save this and let's see how it's working come here and type product because this is the way we have defined in our urls if i come here in urls.py i have to type product and the id so api product if i want if i want to need first product then it should return macbook okay it says it return then okay come here in our views and uh, it return product response so it says that i have not returning any response but uh, i am returning the response here then why there is this error to fix this let's say import a status from test framework so from rest framework dot from rest framework import status and uh, after completing this for loop it will return if it doesn't find anything then it will return a response which will contain not found like status dot not found so this if it if the product with the id that user had has entered does not found then it will return a 404 not found status so save this and let's see if this time it works it says not found i think there is some problem okay so if i come here in the products you can see this is this id is in the string and we this we are comparing this with a integer integer value so you can see this is the inter uh, this is a string value and we are comparing this with the integer value so to avoid this we will convert this to a string str so now this time it should work so if i refresh this then it should return me the first product so you can see it returned me macbook air m1 if i type 2 here 3 then it returned me mango book air m1 if i type here 4 it return me game book air m1 and if i type something that is not available like id 42 and you know id 42 is not available and press enter so you can see it return 404 response okay so the, our api is working perfectly and uh, in the next video we will try to fetch these both api which we have made today so these are very simple api
which uh, we can fetch from get request so we will making a lot of the lot of these and there is a lot more to do in the back end but uh, we will try to fetch if these api or let's see what we can do in all i will decide in the next video so thanks for watching this video and see you next time in the next video